Welcome to the homework. This is lesson one of module four for grade one. Get your name on here first. Don't forget it. And here we're working with uh, circling groups of 10, writing the number to show the total number of objects. Now you can look at these, and I'm not going to do this for every single one of these different pictures, but just for an example, here's the the marbles in the jar. If you look in here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you'll find the same. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten in each jar. So just every time you see a group of something like that, just consider it a group of ten. You don't have to count it. Uh, there are some first graders who will want to count everything by starting from one and counting it one at a time and they'll want to count just each single marble but the idea here is of course to just count by tens when you have groups of ten and count by ones when you have just ones so here we have ten twenty here's a five group so that's twenty five twenty six and now here we have 10, 10, and 10. So that's 10, 20, 30. Here's a five group. That makes it 35, 36, 37, 38. There's 38 balloons. And now here we have straws. And now if we zoomed in, we could count these and there would be a bundle. There'd be, there would be 10. Uh, but here's 10, 10, that's 20. And this is 21, 22, 23, 24, 20, there's 25 straws. And then looking at these cubes, these sticks have 10, 10, and this is going to be a row of 10. And if you don't believe me, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's C, it's 10. So that's 30. Here's a 5 group, that's 35. 36, 37, 38, 39 blocks, or 39 cubes. And we also could have looked at this group here and said, well, that's like a 10 frame with one missing, so that's got to be 9. You could have seen that too, and that, and that would be even better. Make a number bond to show 10s and 1s. Circle the 10s to help, and write the number to show the total amount of objects. So here we have 10, 10, and then the ones we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. So seven ones and 20 in tens is 27. There are 27 juice boxes. And now looking at the crayons, this is a box of 10 crayons. So that's a group of 10. And now here we're looking at a five group row. And this is another group of five. So we can do this. We can write this as a group of 10, and then 10 single crayons. 10 plus 10 is 20 crayons. Make a number bond to show 10s and 1s. Circle 10s to help. Write the number to show the total amount of objects. That's what we're going to, that's what we're doing on the end of the first page. So here we have two 10 groups, that's 20, and four ones, that's four, 20 and four, 24, there are 24 cubes. And here we're looking at, this looks like, this kind of like we're adding 21 plus 15, because this whole thing here would be 21. But we can just count the tens. Ten, twenty, thirty. And then count the ones. There's a group of five here. One more is six. Thirty and six. Thirty-six. Oh, there are thirty-six cubes. And here we have a group of ten. And this is five six seven so it's ten and seven 
That's 17 put together. 17 cubes. Here's two tens. That's 20. And that's three ones. 20 and 3. 23 cubes. Make or complete a math drawing to show tens and ones. Complete the number bonds. So here's the number bond. We've got an 18 and a 10 and figure out what's missing. So you could do this. You probably, you might already know, but to do the math drawing, we can do, we can use this. You can, you can use the cubes and we can just make quick tens and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for 18 or 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 if you want to count them all out like that and then see that there's eight ones. And this is 30 and 3. So here we're using uh, a group of 10. Here's another group of 10. So we need another group of 10 because it's 10, 20, we need 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's your third group of 10, that's 30. And then we need three stray guys here, three ones for 33.